you get this page here, mm. and then you go display all channels. That's normally. Now, there's nothing here. Mm. And so I can select either pump one or pump two. So what I want to do is I want to take a pump and I want to plug it into like channel one. And then you have to look for the arrow. And the arrow is always up on this gray cable and stick it in there. Now, as soon as you do that, this screen comes up. So you can select that screen. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the configure page. And this is where you're going to set up the syringe for how much volume you're going to inject, the delivery rate, ignore the center screen. But this one right here is the defined syringe. <coughs> so that's what we need to do is define which syringe we're going to use. <coughs> In this particular case, the um, he said like, okay, a 10 microliter syringe. So the easiest one to deal with is our Nanofil syringe. Okay. Because we sell a lot of them. So that's so that's a common syringe. So, yeah, when this first comes out of the box, let me throw this at you too, is this is tightened down. Mm -hmm. So somebody, at, we give them a screwdriver, they need to loosen the screw so this is a little bit floppy mm -hmm. so, that, so, that this, so that this gap will open up here, mm -hmm. and then they're supposed to tighten it down again a little bit. Okay. The only way to get in there is to drive this all the way back. Okay. So the thing is, is that I'm just going to set up this syringe and screw this down so that now that's all lined up in there perfectly into a line alignment so the thing is is that okay so this is a you touch this part of the screen <coughs> and this is a 10 microliter by 60 syringe mm -hmm. okay so we're done. That's 60, been selected. 60 is the length of it, right? 60 is the scale length. Okay. So we go back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what's been selected in there. Uh, let's say, you know, let's just leave the delivery rate <coughs> and volume alone. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this on max load mm -hmm. for the time being because there's a bug in the software. When you go to nanoliters per minute in the smooth mode, which is the other choice here, there it. It loses it, it loses track. So let's leave it in max load. Okay. <coughs> this is we got to get a new firmware update. This actual delivery or remaining. So usually we just leave this in actually deli actual delivery in like nanoliters per second. The next thing we want to do is we want to set up the controller so it knows where the positions of various locations are in the pump. So we're going to go to reset position. And then this syringe stop definition page comes up. And what we're going to do is you, the red light's going to come on when I do this. And we're going to drive... So the red, red line in the back? Yeah. Okay. We're going to drive this carrier mm -hmm. that's holding the plunger on the syringe all the way back until the machine does that. Okay. Okay. Now, that defines the end stop of the mechanical motor drive in here, mm -hmm. but that's not the top of the syringe. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, we have a 10 microliter syringe. Now we have to define the top of the syringe, and this is very difficult to see, but when you look into the glass barrel against the markings, you're going to see that the plunger, the tip of the plunger, lines up with the 10 mil microliter mark in this particular case. And... Sometimes you have to use magnification in order to see it. Okay. And in this particular case, this is, it's right there. Okay. It's exactly at that mark. It's actually a little bit slightly forward of that. In, in, I'm not real pleased about that, but that's okay. Normally, it's one millimeter above. Okay. So what we would do is if it's normally one millimeter above, that, that, that full mark on the syringe, we'll push the infuse button until it lines up mm -hmm. with that. And then at that point in time, we do set syringe. Now the machine knows where the top of the syringe is. So it knows that it can now travel 60 millimeters forward and not try to drive below the zero mark on the syringe. So basically this now has a memory that's programmed into this machine. So it knows exactly where the syringe is at every, at every moment in time. So we're done with this particular page. Let's leave this at 5,250. We go back to this page. I'm going to choose Infuse, and I'm just going to push Run. And now the pump will run forward. The red light comes on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, This drives forward, and this should stop exactly at the 5 microliter mark when it's done. 
and I, you can see this a little bit better with the background that we've got. And yes, and the volume counter started off with a funny number, but then it immediately reset and started counting correctly. So right now that's going to read 4999.6, mm -hmm. and that plunger is lined up it almost it, in this particular case that's right dead on the five mark okay. so if i run this again it's so because we set it up here at five right yeah it's okay. five thousand so if i run this again mm -hmm. it's going to end up at the zero mark that you can just see through this little cutout mm -hmm. in in the uh, in the ferrule at the end of this syringe mm -hmm. but it's but you what you won't hear is you won't hear the motor bind as it gr tries to grind as it tries to drive the plunger below the zero mark. Mm -hmm. If that does engage, you're gonna hear this thing go uh, like that, just, you know, slight noise. And if I look in here, yep, that's right at the zero mark exactly. Now, mm -hmm. the thing is, is that that's just to set up the pump mm -hmm. with the syringe, Okay. you know, through the controller. That does not pre-fill the syringe with fluid. You have to get all the air out of the syringe, otherwise you're, you know, like if I stuck a needle on here, it's full of air. I stick it in a solution, try and withdraw. I might withdraw fluid up to two microliters, and the rest of it's going to be vacuum, mm -hmm. or you know, or slightly de depressurized air. So, so normally at this point in time, what you would do is you would take the syringe off, um, and then use the instructions that we have in the manual and, and front fill. You'd basically, take this all apart, front fill fluid into it, push it all the way back down to the zero mark. Remount the syringe. Now the syringe is, is partially primed with water. You know, and the needle's already on there. I've actually pushed fluid all the way through the needle. This is nice and tight on here. Now I can stick this in my solution, let's say with the 26 gauge filling needle, mm -hmm. and now I can change the direction. And it in can. this particular case, I'm going to press and hold this button. Now let me do that again. Yeah. I'm going to press and hold this screen. Now I'm on the navigation page. Okay. I stick the needle in my filling solution, okay. and I push continuous withdraw. Now it's going to fill the syringe to okay. the full 10 microliter mark with my with my drug okay. or chemical. Okay. And I've got no air bubbles in here. It's a practical method for setting up the syringe. I know that this video is going to probably be a little bit out of focus in places. But, you know, this will stop at the 10 microliter mark. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're basically we have a full syringe, and we're and and basically now I can go back here, and I'm ready to change this. Oops, I careful touch that by mistake. Now let's say I'm going to, I want to inject uh, 250 nanoliters at um, 25. Well, let's go back. This is um, delete. At 10 nanoliters per second, you know, like I, I want to inject a virus into a mouse brain. That didn't take. Okay, what did I do? Nanoliters per second. Configure. To choose the right syringe. 250 nanoliters and a delivery rate of 10. Okay, there. Now it takes 10, 10 nanoliters per second. Okay. Now I can go over here, change my direction to infuse, and run. And the pump is running very, very slowly. You can because hear it go tick, 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 mm -hmm. tick, tick, tick. Mm -hmm. And the volume counter is basically showing you that it is delivering the volume. Since I primed the needle mm -hmm. and there's no air bubbles in there, this is a completely, this is a non-compressible fluid injection. So that I do, so when it says I delivered 250 nanoliters, it did deliver okay. 250. Nan if there was an air bubble in there, you know the volume is, is in question as to what it injected. But it, but typically, um, you might inject, and I can change these values now because this knows where this is located. It knows how much is left. I can change the delivery rate and the target volume back and forth, do all kinds of stuff, but the, but the machine knows exactly where the full mark is and the zero mark is. Okay. Okay? Yep. Thank you. Somebody's got, got rubber gloves on, and they press the key, and they hit the disabled button. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I just disabled pump number one, so if I go back, it says I'm disabled. Mm -hmm. And believe, trust this, it took us four days to figure out how to get what was wrong here. So you got to come back in here and choose non-group, then it comes back. 
But yeah, the thing is they got to be careful of where they push on here. And I want to get rid of this in a new revision. That might change. So the, so the main thing is, is that, you know, and okay, now this is only set up for one syringe. Okay. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that I can't go move this over to channel two and say, set this up for a five microliter syringe because this is, this location is going to move. So if I, so basically right now I'm at some, some, um, some digital count that's stored in here. If I go move this to channel two and move this up to here, I go back to channel one, the machine still thinks it's here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a lot of people are doing this by mistake. You can do that with this machine because you're, you're, you're the computer looking at the scale. Mm -hmm. And this has no memory whatsoever. Okay. This has to know exactly where this is. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna sw swap over to a five microliter syringe, Start, you get to start over from scratch. So you enter it again. Here. You got to do it all over again. Okay. okay you just can't swap back and forth. This is not the way this works. Mm -hmm. Okay.